Do you like fighting games? Well, that is really normal as there are tons of fighting games available in the world today. But what about fighting games that are based on the blockchain? Well, you have seen the title of the video and you know what you're in for. A fighting game that is based on the blockchain that lets you earn the more you win games. But what if I told you that the game you're talking about right now, Crypto Fighters, takes a whole new level of innovation to fighting games? Interested? Stick around to learn more. Hello people of the internet and welcome to another video from your favorite channel, Crypto Cash Out. This channel is dedicated to making videos about the blockchain and crypto space so if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button right now. Please remember that we are not giving off financial advice at any point in this video. We are not financial advisors and we just want to inform you about the topic of today's video. If you want to invest, Please do it to your own accord and please do additional research after. Researching even further will help you so much in the future. When it comes to creating video games, there really isn't a ceiling when it comes to creativity. Creativity in designing the visuals of your game, creativity in designing the story in the game, and of course, creativity in the mechanics of the game. And for crypto fighters, there is no shortage whatsoever in any of those. The game might be one of the coolest looking games I have seen in a long time with 2D pixelated graphics that look great and gameplay that is easy to understand but still difficult to be competitive in. So what are we waiting for? Let us see what Crypto Fighters has in store for us. But before we head on any further, I think it is important that we take a look at the people behind the project in order to fully understand why the game is so amazing in my opinion. The game is being developed by a gaming studio that is based in Bangkok. The company is called Maxma Game Studios and they currently have 20 people working on the game. The development team of Crypto Fighters is being led by a guy they call Jesada and his LinkedIn is posted on their official webpage. Anyway, Jesada has over 10 years of experience in software development and he wants to take all the years of experience he collected and create the best 2D fighter blockchain game that everyone can enjoy. Speaking of 10 years of experience, their CMO, Sirik Wan, also has 10 years of experience in the marketing field. This means that she knows her ins and outs when it comes to the financing of the game. So as you can see, the staff that is working on the game is really stacked. It is full of people with backgrounds. However, there is a critique to be made with the staff. The only problem, or maybe inconvenience is the right term, I have for the developers is that they don't have their LinkedIn posted in their page. I think transparency is really important as players if we want to play their game, especially a blockchain game. But other than that, I see really talented people out there and I hope they post it in the future. Okay, now on to the game. Crypto Fighters is a game that takes you to a world filled with people you must go up against. It is a fighting game that mixes the mechanics of a turn-based action game. Now it is important to note that the game is not actually out yet, but from what we can see, the game looks super awesome, lots of fun, and the token of the game has a lot of potential. Now in order for you to take part in battles, you must be in possession of the fighters. These fighters are classified as NFTs. This means that you can trade, collect, and sell them in a marketplace if you got any extra. But you can also train them and let other players rent them out. These amazing looking fighters will fight for you in order to let you earn some tokens in the game and it is your job to lead them to victory. You can purchase them through randomized loot boxes. These loot boxes will contain fighters that you can collect. Now, the fighters that you will collect are distinct in their own ways. There are 8 classes of fighters that you can collect and use in battle. These classes are different from each other as each provides a specific advantage for the team. But remember, you're only allowed to take 4 fighters per match, so choose your team composition carefully. I think it is best that you spread out the classes of your team to take advantage of their skill set. But the meta may change when the game gets released in the future, so you really have to strategize well in this game if you want to win. The first class is called the All-Rounder and as the name suggests, this class is all about versatile, kind of like your Swiss Army knife. Then we have the Bodyguard whose main job is to be upfront and tank all the damage along the way of their teammates. They have a high defense stat and can take a couple of hits. Duelists are the class of fighters who want to deal damage at any location. What can we say? They like to duel. Stalkers are great for attacking the enemy from behind. Acrobat is another class that deals damage and is a master of martial arts. Tricksters provide great support for the team as they have abilities to do that. They also have strong will and can help boost the team's spirit and ruin the enemy team. More on spirits in a bit. Destroyers, yeah, they like to destroy things. 
They excel in inputting damage to one or more enemies, so take note of that. Lastly, we have the Vanguard, which is another attacker that can deal damage to multiple enemies at once. Vanguards are good if you want to sweep the whole team at once. Again, you must keep in mind a lot of things when entering battle. The first thing is the number of fighters you can take each battle. Remember that 4 is the limit and you have to balance your fighters here. Put your bodyguards up front because usually they take first contact when the enemies attack. They take all the damage while the teammates dish out damage. Of course, there are abilities that you can utilize that will skip the fighter up front and will damage the next or the less fighter so be careful of that. There are also abilities that can let you shuffle the order of the enemy team. Putting the squishier targets up front and the bodyguards behind. That is really important to keep in mind as it can totally change the tides of the game. Overall, each fighter is assigned 1 to 3 talents and the talents are dependent on the rarity of the fighter. In this game, there is also a god system that you must take note of. This god system is basically measuring the willpower of your fighters. If your fighters lose their guts during battle, they will lose the willpower to battle causing your defeat. Their willpower will be diminished if they miss attacks, receive damage, or see their allies be defeated in combat. Luckily, there are abilities that can boost the willpower of your team, mostly coming from the trick who is a master at that. So, utilize your abilities well, my friends. There are three game modes you can participate in and they are tons of fun. The adventure game mode is a PvE arena where you get to explore the world and defeat bosses in each location. I think this is a great way to farm tokens early in the game as you will be rewarded after winning each stage of the game. The next game mode is the battle arena where players just duke it out against one another for pride and glory. Winners of the battle arena will be put in the hall of fame and earn tokens as a reward for winning the game. Another PvP game mode is the tournament mode where the stakes are higher and the battles are more intense. Competition is more challenging here but the prizes are also bigger and more special. Now let us head on to the tokenomics but let us warn you ahead of time that what we are about to say is based on their white paper. The game is still in its development stage and we don't know anything about the token will perform in the future. But what do we know is that there will be two tokens in the game so buckle up folks. The first token is called the KF token and it serves as a governance token. Now I don't think I have to stress enough how important governance is for a blockchain project. Having your users have a say in how your game will play out is really important and gives the people a voice in how things will play out. Anyway, crypto fighter tokens are ERC-20 tokens and will be used as the primary currency for marketplace trading, selling, and buying. Players are required to pay KF when making transactions in the game. The treasury for the token will buy some KF that is in circulation and burn them. This will ensure that the token will be deflationary as the ecosystem grows. As you heard from that, the developers are already thinking one step ahead of us and know the dangers of having an ecosystem with such a high potential like crypto fighters. That is why they are calculating every danger and providing a solution. Users that hold KF will also have the option to stake their tokens which I think is great that users will have another avenue to earn in the game. The cool thing about their staking is that the rewards are somewhat dependent on the level of your fighters. The higher the level, the larger your rewards will be. The second token in Crypto Fighters is called the Jab Token and it will be used as a game currency. Similar to KF tokens, Jab tokens are ERC-20 tokens and are used to empower the play to earn reward system of the game. The problem most people have with Jab token is that it has an infinite supply. However, the developers are keeping close tabs on the inflation rate of the Jab token to ensure that the token will still do with the demand and supply even if it has maximum supply. Overall, the Jab tokens will be used for coaching, upgrading, crafting, minigames, buying in-game items and for healing of characters. But again, both tokens are not out yet. We will have to wait a couple of months for that to happen. But still, very promising tokens, both of them. Again, the game is not even halfway through its roadmap but it already achieved a lot of things during its runtime. This means that we should expect a lot more things in the future as well. That includes the tokens that we just mentioned quite a while ago. Things we can expect sometime soon is the NFT pre-sale, launching of the NFT marketplace, and a demo of the game. That is all in this quarter. They have plans until early 2023. We have a lot of things left to wait for with this game, but they already got us excited and riled up. But the thing that really surprises me in the roadmap is plans to release lands in the game. So the developers really plan on making the Crypto Fighters world the metaverse where you can buy lands and design them in what 
whatever you like. For this, you must use jab tokens to design the lands. Owner of the land can customize it however they like. They can put up hospitals and training centers using the land. They also have a comic book planned in the future. If they can pull off a well-written story for the game, I think it would be really great. A lot of people love playing games because of the stories attached to each character. The stories that people can relate to and emotionally connect with. So, I really think comic books are great for the game as it builds more to it. They also plan to have an e-sport for the game which I think is really nice. In conclusion, I think the game is really nice. The gameplay from what we've seen and heard is amazing. And if you want to get started, I heard that they're releasing holo bars, gold bars, and microchips that will combine into a fighter's ticket. This fighter's ticket will be minted into a random fighter NFT in the future, so be on the lookout for that. If you want to be updated, you can always follow their Twitter and join their Discord server. Always a good option. However, I'm afraid that would be all from us today. Again, the game is still not released so we can only say so much. Maybe in the future we will talk about the game again when we know more so hit that subscribe button if you want to see that video. You don't want to miss that. Also, liking the videos also help us a ton as we will know what videos do well and what videos you guys like. Comment down below your thoughts on Crypto Fighters so far, if you like it or don't fancy it too much. Comment for a chance at a shout out in the next video. We also have a video on the best mobile games you can play right now so go check that out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, stay safe and have fun, cashing out!